Alright, so hello again, and this is going to be a slightly different video today because I'm going to be talking about how I just started this kind of course program thing where I'm going to be actually going through the process of setting up an agency. So, um, as I said before on this channel, I have been doing web development for the last few months and it's been it's been a process anyway, so I've been, um, I've been trying my absolute best on it and I think I've actually gotten to a pretty decent level when it comes to developing websites and just designing them. Not the source code because I don't actually code. I think WordPress just saves you a load of time in that regard. Um, sorry. But the thing is there isn't really much of a need for it. There's, a mu there's not much of a need for just websites as a whole. I mean they look nice and they look like they could bring in some traffic to a business but at the end of the day they're not going to force conversions or anything and i'm not putting down the web industry or anything like it's pretty good and i'm still not abandoning it or anything but i got on a call with um the guy who was doing this program and i'm not going to mention the name but um he basically told me um the, that they kind of teach smma service delivery in there and that's what i'm going to be doing is probably my main offer more so even than um, web development because because web development could be more of a side offer and it's like you have the dinner and then you give people the vegetables as well like web development will be the vegetables and they can taste very 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 nice but they're not going to be the main thing so that's basically what i'm offering as part of my offer or that's what he told me anyway so i'll describe the actual call it went pretty well i think I basically described how the last few months I've been doing web development, basically what I said in this video, and I've been um, trying to focus on service delivery for it, and um, I started getting more um, more lead sourcing uh, outlets, so I started going through D7 Lead Finder, finding like 50 leads a day to call up, and from what, what I've experienced, most of them end up for the website. I explained to him all that to him how I don't know if web development is going to be an actual concrete thing to offer because businesses aren't going to be paying retainers for that even if you are going to set up a website it's not going to be sustainable um, thousands in the bank every month most people aren't even willing to pay a thousand for the website to begin with so yeah it's it's not it's kind of a hard pass for most people so I explained to him that and he said yeah I mean it's sort of true what you've been experiencing I've had web developers here that uh, have told me that they've been offering the service but it can't be a retainer because web development as a whole is not is pretty much limited to a one-time job and it can't really be done um over and over again like facebook or google ads can so it kind of stops there but with the um, the service delivery he teaches in that program it's it can be different you can actually charge a retainer you can charge um, based on results and web development can't ex or web design can't exactly um, guarantee results i suppose it's more of a like a one-time purchase thing that bigger businesses could do like maybe a business could buy a website for let's say 10 grand and they'd be okay with that it'd be good for brand awareness good for traffic good for drawing people in probably good for sales as well at, after some point but you can't really automate it without a lot of effort on the part of the person actually you're actually doing it for and that's kind of where my e-commerce thing falls apart but anyway the main thing is they can teach me service delivery and they said that it was a certain number um, of money for startup and to be honest i can afford it really wasn't that much um, re relatively speaking that is and then after you get your first client it's a certain amount per month now again not going to name the price because i don't know if i'm supposed to do that not going to name the name either but if you do want me to recommend you i can send a dm but anyway the main thing now is the actual execution part i've done the purchase off my shoulders now the way of it is and i can relax a bit more a lot more like that, that's taken so much stress off me that there's actually some mentor um, set to guide me now it's, it's amazing honestly it's a great feeling just to know that I'm more likely to actually get onto the path I want to be on quicker. It's just, it's amazing. It's just, oh my gosh. The last few days I've just been chronically stressed about things and these last few hours in particular, but again, that does take weight off my shoulders. So, what have I been doing today? I've been doing a good few things actually. I've been, 
I started off with calling today as usual, you know, hustle and bustle of calling, and then I got on to the actual uh, doing Facebook ads for um, for someone. I wasn't looking, I wasn't actually doing them, but I was looking at how he did them, and it's pretty good. Um, my father actually, he was um, showing me how he does Facebook ads, and he has a pretty good setup, I think. So then I just had a look and then I showed him how I do my, how I would do his ad. It wasn't much different, only a bit different. And then um, we just kind of compared it and we, we're both going to set our ads out now and see how each of them perform against each other. She'll be a pretty fun little game to be honest, see which one of them goes better. My ad will be better than yours. Um, but it's kind of besides the point, but again, it's kind of just me, again, looking at another service delivery option that might be more sustainable. And also a particular niche as well, because I do product-based businesses, but I'm not sure how much of a niche that is. Is it really a niche? Anyway, the cost doesn't matter to me as long as I get the ability to make the money back. Give a man a fish, feed him for a day, teach a man a fish, feed him for a lifetime. That's exactly... One of the best models I've ever seen, and it's exactly what I go by. I just want the ability to do things, the ability to turn the sky into water, the ability to um, summon grass up from the the Himalayas, if the, um, just because I can, you know. Now that that's metaphorical, obviously, but you know what I mean. Just the ability to buy expensive jewelry, even though I'm probably never going to buy expensive jewelry because it's a waste of time. The ability to um, be able to afford to rent a supercar even though I'm never going to give two crafts about a supercar. I might, but at the moment I don't because there's just no particular cause for it. And that's another thing I'm analysing about myself. I'm actually not really that interested in a lot of materialistic stuff. I just want to move away from pain. That's honestly it for now. Maybe there are materialistic stuff, but I don't I just don't have many interests at all. I don't, I don't know. I don't do much. So I started the program anyway. He got, got me right in, right out the gate. And I, I did the payment link, just paid it, and then got an email immediately and got the link, clicked into the link. And I was in school.com and I saw the, um, the first module and I went through it, got done in about five minutes because it's just a kind of overview of the whole course. And then I went to module two and it's pretty much a mindset module and that's kind of what I've been doing now for the last hour and a half. I've just been drawing up um, my pains, my desires, the kind of life I want, all of that. It's great that it requires participation from the individual because if I'm just watching and consuming content that's not going to be half as effective, let's be honest. In fact, nothing is half as effective if you're not actually doing the thing yourself. Like If you're watching someone being a waiter and you're not being a waiter yourself, you're not getting much better at it. Maybe 1% or 2%, but if you do it yourself, you're going to get 10-20% better in minutes if you're a newbie. Obviously not, if you're already experienced, that would be impossible. But yeah. And I don't have much else to say on that now, but again, I want to keep talking. So actually, you know what I'll do, I will show you the stuff I've done and um, I don't want to show you the actual core stuff, but um, I've done quite a good bit of this stuff. So up here at the top, now I'm not even finished yet, but let's have a look. So you can see here, um, I'm just talking about the life and business I want to build. I want to be able to pay for things in daily life without checking the price. And this is mainly going through the, the pain I've went through in my life and how I I really just want to get out of this hellhole. So yeah, this is kind of me venting a bit about the last few years of my life. And this is kind of me being sort of philosophical, talking about the actual suffering I do want, not the current kind where I just feel trapped. And this is about me talking about um, the person who's going to benefit from all of this um, at some point in the future. And it's going to be me. And this is basically his perception of the current me and how great he's going to be. And I also speak about how 
um, I'm going to, what would happen if I failed in this endeavor, so what would happen if I just quit, and it really did um, pull a number on me when I made this metaphor, like, it's about a rocket ship and how it doesn't have enough energy to escape the gravitational pull of the earth, and that terrifies me, because you, like, that ship isn't going to get up again, is it? No one's going to fall into the ocean somewhere, it's not going to be able to go back up. And this is basically me talking about the agency, so what I actually wanted to do and how principled I wanted to be, the type of um, staff, um, how well I want to treat the staff as well and the, the risk as well I want to take on because that's the kind of person I want to be. And uh, next I went on to the type of person I'm going to become, so actually no, this isn't it. I actually just talked about the kind of life I'm going to have, how I want to be, um, I want to be doing some stuff when I have the means to do so, um, kind of, I, I don't care too much about traveling the world, but I want to be capable of it, and I want to be capable of buying a lot of stuff, even though I don't particularly want a lot of stuff, and I'm and most of all I just don't want to get nagged about stuff, and I don't want to be worried about money. So this is like the kind of person I want to become to achieve this. So we talk about beliefs, hab habits, values, and goals, which I haven't completed yet. So the beliefs um, that I have are basically, um, I want to be someone who can, who is very solution oriented and understands the law of cause and effect and doesn't believe that luck is a huge part of the equation like most people do. I feel like I'm already at this stage, to be honest. Um, the habits, I basically have all of these, to be honest, already. Uh, meditation, gratitude, outreach, first delivery, team management, gym, all of these, um, just to become the kind of person who can do this. And maybe I need to be more, more specific because uh, this is just like the, the generic um, self-improvement package that like half the YouTubers in the li male's lifestyle space are actually doing at the moment. Um, but... For now, it will suit because I'm actually I actually am intending to be like these, whereas most people are just full of talk. And my values then are um, discipline, pain, courage, consideration. And I put pain in here because uh, most people wouldn't want to put pain as their value, but uh, my pain is my value. It's like meaningful pain, just not useless pain that's not going to bring you anywhere. And um, forgiveness as well, and just being able to. Um, have compassion for people and give kindness from a place of strength because if it's not from a place of strength then, then um, you're just fooling yourself you're not actually a nice person so that's basically it and I think it's only goals I have left to do I don't think there's anything else I'll have a look here okay there's actually non-negotiables as well I'll put that down tomorrow, but for now I'm not going to do anything. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else to um, really relate to you from that point of view. But I, I will go over briefly the work I'm going to be doing over the next few days. Over the next few days, I will probably be putting every minute into this. And actually getting the stuff done, booking a call, and being able to um, actually get um, the program done as quickly as possible so I can genuinely have proper service delivery and um, yeah I just really want I, I'm, I'm terrified of like service delivery being bad man I don't want to manipulate a client into giving me money and then I just oh my gosh that would just make me it would, it would be so it would be a disaster for me never want to do that ever and I'll have a look over the rest of the program I'm not going to reveal anything but it's quite a bit here so yeah wow there's quite a good bit I really like the designs I really like um now this is probably common to a good few programs but the what's it called um, renaissance designs yeah I, I like renaissance art I don't know if it's, it's probably just because I I've been so tuned to it and I've been so exposed to it familiarity to always breeds um it always breeds liking things 
no, I would like to keep talking, but I don't really have much else to talk about. So I appreciate you watching this and have a good day. And most of all, look at your reaction to things and your response to things. Not don't look at your um your what happens to you because things will probably all always be bad then.